You are more than that. So before I begin that, let me tell you a little story from my own experience. So I was around my mid-20s, about 25, 26, a few years ago, and I was in a meeting in the public sector. Now, I remember sitting in the meeting and thinking, this is boring. This is absolutely pointless, me being here. Why am I here? But then the answer that followed was to try and get a permanent job so that I can pay the bills. That's when I really started to work out what I wanted to do. So at the time I started to write books, write fiction, children's fiction, which my first two books were, because that's really what I enjoyed reading as a kid. And then from writing and from taking action, it then took me onto a path of writing mental health fictions and about personal development as I got more and more into that. And in recent years, in the last couple of years, getting into speaking, getting into coaching, from taking continuous action, of really feeling fulfilled and that I've got a purpose in life. And that's what the book talks about. It talks about understanding where you want to go in life and some steps on how to get there. So what's in the book and what can you expect out of it? So the book's about identifying what your purpose is, what your goal is in life and why you want it. I break it down through five steps throughout the book on my own personal experience and I share many stories in there to get people thinking but also I've asked a series of questions throughout the book so it's to get you thinking and when you ask yourself the right questions you start to formulate the right answers. We can take in knowledge, we, we can understand things and that's what I used to do with personal development books. I used to read them and then just leave them but if we don't take action on things then nothing changes. So throughout the book, I not only give my personal experiences and ask the questions to get you thinking, but I suggest a series of actions to take forward. Who's this book not for then? This book is not for anyone who wants a quick win, who wants success overnight, because myself, I've still got a long way to go on my journey and the journey never ends. So even the people at the top of their field who I admire, the likes of Tony Robbins, Gabby Bernstein, Jason Capital, they're still continually looking to expand their empires, expanding themselves and their goals. So it's not for people who want to achieve a goal and want to achieve it overnight. It's also not for people who don't like challenges because there's always gonna be challenges in life. And to get out of your comfort zone, to change your standard life, you're going to have to face fears, you're going to have to face insecurities. And that's what I faced. It's made me come out of my comfort zone and feel fearful at times. So if you're not willing to face that, this book's not for you either. Okay, now I'm just going to break down what the five steps are without going into too much detail because you need to read the book to really understand them. So the first part of the book is your why. Understanding why you want something, and this isn't just, oh, it's gonna give me good money, because I go into how fame and fortune isn't the answer. It's your values, you really understanding why you want something. Why is it gonna be fulfilling for you? And I also talk a little bit in the why about why you must prioritize yourself, and that prioritizing yourself is not selfish, but it's essential for you and the rest of the world. So the second part of the book is the planning. Really organising yourself and writing things down. I go into how essential that is, how you can get from A to B. And it's also about how you organise yourself smartly in a good routine that enables you to achieve your goals. Now, as I've mentioned, there's going to be challenges on the journey. There's going to be things that are going to throw you off guard. So in the third section, I talk about how important it is to look after yourself, how important your mental health is, how perfectionism can throw us off balance, how we need to get a right balance in our life. Now, it's not a book or a fiction about mental health, as some of my past books are, but it's around how you can look after yourself through various ways, such as your exercise and what you eat. I even go into a whole section on how eating can affect your mental health and your focus. Now the fourth step I go into 
is knowledge. I talk about different sources for knowledge. So whether that's podcasts, whether that's YouTube videos, whether that's the plain simple books that some of us neglect these days, how you can get various sources of information and perhaps the best uses of your time for gathering information. But then I go a bit further than that. I again go back to my point about how taking knowledge without action is useless and how you can start to apply some of your knowledge in order to learn. And then the final step I go into is about continuous action. So this is about habits. This is about being present. This is about coming out of your comfort zone. So from the four first steps, getting yourself prepared and working towards your purpose. But the fifth one's really putting it into action. And I go through various actions you may need to take in order to hit your goals. And there you go. That's a bit of an insight into my latest book. So the book's going to be called You Are More Than That. It'll be out end of January. So stay tuned for updates. And as the title suggests, you are more than that. You're capable of so much more than you think. It's just about taking continuous action on yourself. And I give tools and advice for you to be able to do that throughout the book. In the meantime, if you want to check out any of my other sources, go onto my website, which is johnnypardo.com, or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, just type in Johnny Pardo, or for any of my previous book, type in Johnny Pardo into Amazon. And we'll speak soon.